Hello everyone. I'm back. I'm here with the um, book, the altered book. And I'm just taking it out of the bag now. Oh my gosh, I thought I smelled something. It looks like candy. <laughs> uh, and a pen. I got a whole bag of sweet tarts and I used to, oh my gosh, I used to live off sweet tarts. These are called sassy tarts, same thing. And like these, um, what are these called? And about, they smell like melon candy. Mm. You know I have a dentist appointment tomorrow, right? <laughs> uh, anyway, and then this pen with these googly eyes on, that's really cute. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so this is the back you're looking at. Oh, and there's goodies here. Oh my gosh. Hang on, what's this? Okay, here's a card. I don't want to mess up the guy here. Look at this. Candy and bag from me, pen from Susie Q Crafts. Okay, thank you, Jan. <laughs> and it's got Happy Halloween sticker on. And she did the, uh, it's just washi. Okay. So, oh, look at this cute card. It's got a bat and then the witch's brew with a skull and crossbones and a bone sticking out of it. And it's like bubbling and swirling up. That's really cute. Ah, got this stuff on here. <laughs> oh, thank you, Jan. She wrote me a little note, but I'll take that off and just, it just says happy Halloween, but it's like drippy. <laughs> Very cute. Thank you, Jan. Um, likewise, girlfriend, you know, you and Matthew as well. Okay. So the bag is this, look at this. Isn't this cool? <laughs> A big jack-o'-lantern bag. That's really cool. Okay. Cool. Thank you. And then also, she sent me tissue paper. Aww. Or maybe Susie did to wrap it in? I don't know. But it's pretty. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I love the turquoise in it. That's probably why. Okay. So, oh, when something came off of somewhere, there's a hat here. So I don't know where that came from, but we'll figure it out. All right. Oh, and Jan, by the way, I don't know. Your bag says this was sent two-day priority on September 25th, and I got it on Monday, October 1st. So just saying, if you paid extra for two-day priority, get some money back, girl. <laughs> anyway, um, look at this, <laughs> Susie. <laughs> I don't know where you got this. This is really cool, though. Creepy, creepy cool. But that's her book, and I know she likes the creepy, which is fine. It's a book, you know. But she didn't do too bad. She said she she uh, used restraint and didn't make it too creepy. Thank you for that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Okay, I'm going to put him up here out of the way. There's even a little butterfly wing here, which I like. The eyeball staring at us. This, this is fabric, guys. Most, Not everybody, but a lot of people did fabric. So it's got a coffin with a cross and the rose, Halloween, 13th, and the skulls and stuff. Yeah. So then we're going to open it here. Oh, I like the owl. And the, there's the jack-o'-lantern, witch's broom, the butterfly with the clock. Sort of steampunky, right? And then this says poison antidotes. <laughs> And then it's, you've got these bugs and creepy hands and stuff. And this flips up. Oh, okay. I remember. This book belongs to, so I can write my name on it. Cool. And I don't think that opens now. Now, way on the way, because I know she has... Oh, oh. Nope, this is the one. <laughs> some of them, um, I think she has some in the top. I don't know. I'll figure it out as I go. This is the poison potion bottle, and it's got a tuck spot here with deadly nightshade, it's called, <laughs> and arsenic poison. Oh, my. The preparation contains morphine. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so then this, I love the floral background paper, flips open. So you can journal here. And this is like a, oh, what is this made out of? This paper is really cool. It's like thin. It has a different feel to it, too. Did you make this paper? That's really cool. So that tucks up in here. It says, quench your thirst with intoxicating elixirs, poisoned potions, bubbling brews. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then here, over here, I want to make sure you're seeing all of this. This is really cool. I love this idea. I'm going to scrap lift this, I think, next time somehow. But there's this um, foiled spider web with the green spider glittery. And it's a, she did the web like um, belly band. So it says poison puffs and then all these come out. Oh, and look, this has another belly band. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, that's a little creepy. <laughs> Vampires, witches, and ghosts. Oh my. Yes. Oh my. And creepy bugs and spiders which I have so many spiders right now out on my patio and in my basement. I keep finding them. I'm like, and they're big, ugly ones. And this says poison. It looks like she painted the paper. I'm sure she must have done something to it, the way it's colored. Yes, yeah, see, you can tell. It's distressed ink or painted. Very cool. Thank you, Susie. carefully put them back in and then we go like this and here she's got a pocket it's purple with um, spiders and she's got some blingy spiders on here and then she made this rosette with a giant spider and that's a really cool rosette out of like a it's like a shimmer paper or something and then spiders everywhere and even on the back I like the back that's that's kind of cool pattern. I think she stamped that on maybe. And it says eek. Yes. If I saw that many spiders coming at me once, I'd be going eek. <laughs> I don't really, I'm not terrified of them, but when they're real big like this, which some of the ones I have are pretty close to that lately, it's really kind of creeping me out. So this book smells good too. Unless I'm smelling the candy. I don't know. It smells more perfumey or something. Basilisk eggs <laughs> found in Spain. Okay, you can keep them there, please. <laughs> and then there's a tuck spot. Anyway, there's a tuck spot there, there's a tuck spot here. It's like a spider with a big long wing. That's cool paper. Where did you find these big silvery sparkly spiders? And then this paper has the web and the spider hanging down. Just make sure I'm not missing anything. No, I don't think so. Up top. This one has a little tab. So there's a tuck. And it's got ghosts. Oh, sorry. I'm too close. Um, and then the skull is the tab. And she's distressed it on the back. And there's something else in here. It's another one. It says eyes of newt <laughs> for your potion. That's cool, and that's all distressed in black around the edges. I think I'm too close. Hang on. I might have to fix that. Oh, and then there's a card in here or something. Aww, that's so cute. Let me see what that says. <laughs> in the Halloween spirit. Isn't that cool? <laughs> Eyeballs in the martinis instead of olives. Aww. Oh, in the Halloween spirit, question mark. Glad to hear it. Wishing you lots of happy hours this Halloween. Oh, thank you, Susie. And then she's got her information in here. She's in Oct Her birthday is today. That's right. I remember seeing that on Facebook. Happy birthday, Susie. I'm unveiling your book on your birthday. Woohoo! So her favorite color is blue, mine too, turquoise blue especially, but I like all blues. Uh, love the beach, flowers, fishing, I fish too, and being outside in the summer when it's warm. 
think the snow is pretty, but I can't stand the cold. I'm getting that way too, but I also can't stand the heat anymore. Um, so I like spring and fall. <laughs> craft style, she likes them all. And then she gave her address and everything. It says, craft hand. Sorry about the ink glue smear. Oh, don't worry about that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is the very so, so cool. Thank you. I'm glad I saw that orange peeking out and thinking, well, I don't think the book pages were orange. So cool. I'm going to put that right back in there. Thank you. And here we have ghostly gumdrops. We've got blood, fresh human juice extra, <laughs> mummy juice, if the poison bottle. I can't read what that says. So anyway, yeah, some kind of poisonous extract. So she's got a tuck spot here on the front and then a middle one. The bitters drink. Yeah. Elixir of life. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then we have happy Halloween. This, I like that ghostly gown and the spiders hanging down. I just got it all bling ribbon here. Trick or treat. Smell my feet. Give me something good to eat. And it says boo. And spiders on the back. I think I'm going to have to fix the camera. One sec, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I put it up as high as it'll go now, so we'll see. I like how you did the button on that tag, too. And then over here, this paper's, like, shiny, and it's got the skulls and stuff. And then she made this flower, I'm assuming. How's that put on? Oh, oh, that's really cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure she made that, and then it's like tied on with mesh ribbon or something. That's really cool how you did that. And we've got the red roses and poison. And then this one, this is fabric. Oh, I think it's ribbon because it's got the edge here, like a silky ribbon on, but she put it on the paper. That's really cool. I like how you did that. I might scrap lift that idea too. Thank you. And then she's got a tuck spot up here too. It says rest in peace. And then the skulls. And they're all, well this is, yeah, they're all distressed. Different colors of distress. Different levels of distress, I guess. <laughs> okay, let me make sure I can get them in. I like that, how you did that. Thank you. Okay, that's not a pocket. Oh, there's a little tabby sticking up up here. I think. Yep. And I think I missed one earlier too, maybe. I love that paper with the red rose. And then she's got a skull tab up there. Distressed on the back. <clears throat> and I think I saw one here. Did I see this one before? Hang on. Let me go back. No, I missed this one. This was on the spider page, and it had a spider on it, too, with gold. That's really cool. And then she distressed this little tab, and it says poison. Sorry, I missed that. I was thinking about doing that, and um, I think there's... Actually, there's one over here, too. Ugh, I missed a lot of them. Sorry. This has palm reading. Palm readings, and it says poison. Cool. So is it like every other one or something? Let me see. That one's top. This one's top. This one's side. This one's top. Okay, so that's where we left off. And then here she has an envelope. And it's Velcroed. Oh, look at that. It looks like x-ray, x-ray of fingers. And then here we have a unicorn and poison, nice journaling cards, <laughs> and a unicorn sort of skeleton-y thing. This is cool paper. Spooky tower kind of paper, or maybe it's under the sea. I don't know. 
and then words, trick or boo, eek, treat, happy Halloween, creepy, scary, yes. <laughs> and then this is more like the palm reading stuff and the sun and the moon. And here's a chest x-ray. <laughs> That's funny. What paper is that? Is that let's see it's cut so it's definitely a paper line that's cool <laughs> thank you i can do lots of journaling i guess i better do some journaling huh and then here we have a back clip up at the top which i'll bring down so you can see Woohoo! i guess bats are silent they don't do that and then i think um this opens look at i love this picture this is like real picture with these scary eyes peeking out here and then I think, oh, this lifts up. Okay. And then here we have double, double toil and trouble, and the jack o' lanterns, and a little pocket. And then this, like, I don't know if these are spiders or just creepy bugs, beetles or something. Yeah. Very cool. I love this picture paper, though. And I'll put that back on. And then there's a tuck here. And there's something else in there, too. Two, two cards. So we've got the flowers that I love and then the skulls on the flowers and it says devil, I don't know, devil's cove maybe, don't, I don't know. And then this is love potion, <laughs> human heart, mm. London, Diagon Alley, mm -hmm. let's see if I can get them back in. Sorry, I'm slow, guys, but there's a lot to this book. And then here we have a double belly band, and we have the little cutesy spider, and she's distressed it all around the edges. And then this rest in peace with the uh, raven. That's a heavy, heavy one. Okay. There we go. Tuck that under there. And then over here we have a little tuck spot that says butterfly dried wings for your potion. Aww. And another, this is like a silky ribbon with spiders. Where'd you find all these ribbons? And she's even cut that to the shape of this tag and then put eyelash trim on the top. That's really cool. Really cool. You found some unique ribbons. And then here we have the skulls with the roses. And then up here's another one, and that says snake tails, trick or treat. And there you've got like the ghost and the jack o' lantern even has a witch's hat on. Ugh, rest in peace. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Susie likes the scary. And then I don't know, is there a spot up here? It might be. Hang on. It's yep. I don't want to crush that guy's little bones. And then here's the one up the top. That's cool paper too. Little bones with the skulls and stuff. And then the black um, distress. We got some cool paper. Here's my favorite that she did and I take these tags out to show you I like the, how she did this sparkly stuff and it's on a brad um, and then it goes like that so you can write under there or something or put a picture and then here's um, distressed skull and crossbones but this when I saw this I was like whoa you see that glimmer wow so she painted all this this is raised up, like embossed somehow. I don't know how you did that. If you put the paper upside down and use some kind of tool, and then it's got this like purpley, silvery glimmer all over it. And then in the background, it's like green and purple and glimmery. And then I know she described that you can see it up here. There's almost like a ghost uh, and she said that wasn't intentional, but it kind of came out that way. You see like the eyes and the mouth there and stuff. That's kind of creepy, but I love that page. I love how you did that. Love it, love it. 
Thank you, thank you. That's one of my favorite pages. There's another one that's really cool too. Come on, I mean they're all cool, but that like that was like wow, <laughs> wow. That turned out cool. I just love that. Okay, so moving right along, a skeleton of a bug, some bat paper, which looks like she's distressed. Yes. Yep. Inked. And some spider paper. And then this is matted down for a picture. And the corner tucks. There. Okay, and then this is a side pocket. Oh my gosh. And she's got forgetfulness potion. <laughs> I don't need that. I'm already forgetful. <laughs> and then sequins. Thank you. Nice autumn colors. Can always use those. Okay. I don't know if that's a. Okay, that's something on this side. And then here we have um, two tuck spots up here. They're kind of up over the page. That's different. And then we got a little skull and crossbones sticker down here. A nice journaling area here. And I could put a picture on this below. And that tucks right in to this glimmery, creepy skull down here. <laughs> cool. That's a cool thing. And, the, and this is like hands. I don't know if that's washi on paper. What is that? Or just paper? I'm not sure. It feels like washi, but it doesn't look like washi. I don't know. Not sure what that is. It might be washi on paper cut to that shape or something. And then here's a belly band. We have some of these x-rays of the pelvic area. <laughs> and then, let's see. How I do this. That one might be stuck. Yep, there we go. Toad venom. <laughs> Fresh as dew for your potion. That's funny. <laughs> and that's distressed in green. And then the poison with the flowers. And that's distressed as well. And then this old looking black and orange paper. Hmm. I think my son is home. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. And then. Oh, wow. There's a top. Look at that glimmer. Woohoo. I don't remember Jan showing that. That's cool. Spiderwebs, even on the ribbon, it's silvery. It's sparkly. Cool beans. Sorry. <laughs> That's an old term. <laughs> That's really cool. I like it. Okay, you did a lot. Oh, and I remember her talking about this page. Susie likes the ocean and mermaids and stuff. So these are like mermaid skeletons over here. It's a stamp, but she painted the paper. I love the color of the paper. There's like fish skeletons and mermaid skeletons. And then on the tag is the mermaid skeleton also. And there's a fish skeleton down here and up here. But she painted this and made it all shimmery, sparkly. I don't know. I think you can see it a little bit. There we go. And then here's the mermaid skull. So that's creepy cool. And then this paper is really pretty in the background. And then she did a bookmark here. And then over here, we have this skull with flowers growing out of it. And what's it say up here? Boo, trick or treat, scary, eek. <laughs> I think this lifts up or something or out because it's moving. There we go. Up. And it's got skulls on the back of the paper. And then the flowers with the um, poison and then here we have like the rose and the bugs and stuff and these are glued on like stamps almost with the skulls and skeletons and then this blingy paper that's really cool bling bling it's like copper colored nice knowing you <laughs> oh nice knowing you here too <laughs> 
Oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, my. When you get to be my age, you know, that gets to be closer to reality. <laughs> and then here, okay, we have another one of the um, couple of the mermaids, and they're in silver instead of, like, coppery this time. And very glittery, cool paint. I love the paint. Definitely looks like waves. It's purples and blues. Cool. I think that's my second favorite in the book, <laughs> other than the tree. And then, oh, oh, and this might be the third then. I thought this was cool how she did this. I love this picture. It's got the flames here and then this gate, but how she's got them like with these um, pull-up chains. So see how cool that is? And then actually they're hooked here with like jump rings. That's different. I was asking Jan, how do you do those sheets that go out? Um, but she did hers different than Susie did, I think. So here we have the mummy, I guess it is. I don't usually watch those kind of shows because they give me nightmares. <laughs> anyway. Got brains? Hope so. And another mummy. Night of the Living Dead. So here's why I don't watch mummy shows. When I was young, my brother's five and a half years older than me. He's my only uh, full sibling. And he was dating. He, he must have been like 16 already driving, 16 or 17. And I that would make me, what, like 11. And he was going on a date a date to a movie drive-in back then right guys and my mom made him bring me along and I was so happy I got to go to the movies well guess what it was night of the living dead and I was sitting in the back seat like covering my eyes and he was so mad that he had to bring me along he's like no you sit up and watch that I was terrified so that's why I don't like zombie shows <laughs> I'm terrified of them ever since then beware zombies love you for what's on the inside yes i'm sure they do i want to suck your blood no that's vampires anyway and then the zombies again so i mean i'm all right looking at the pictures and stuff i just i won't watch the movies because i will have nightmares and then she's got a tuck spot up here so there's a little bit of my history that you didn't need to know, right? <laughs> anyway. Yeah. My poor brother. That was probably a pain in the butt to him. Anyway. Most of... I don't know how to get this back in. Alright, hang on. I have to stand it up. Because I don't want to break it. There we go. Okay. So on to the next page. We got these creepy people here. Jacoby, Minneapolis, what's this say? Paley, Division of New York. And a rest in peace sticker down here. And this turns. Look at the scene here. What's that say? Turn back. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's cute how you did that turn back and it turns that is so cool <laughs> oh, yes i think i would if i saw them <laughs> oh my goodness rest in peace like he's praying oh my goodness nice knowing you beware <laughs> i don't know where you got this paper at is that no that's in the paper <laughs> cool Okay, and then here we have another tuck, um, tucky thing. Tucky thing. Basilisk eggs. That awkward moment when you realize that zombie looking for brains walked right past you. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, and mummy juice. Cool. So, I don't remember seeing that one either. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> that would be a good thing in that case, though, right? Okay, so here we have a belly band. It says, this space for rent. Oh, and that's like a... Like when you run your fingernail over it, it goes like that. It's like ridgy. 
It's one of those holographic zombie things. Oh yeah, yucky. She looks like a nice, adorable person until you turn it and then she's a zombie. That's kind of cool. <laughs> and then here we have Zombie Squad. Yeah, Paley again. Oh my goodness. Okay. And this actually opens up so you can write on it. Does that one too? Yes, I think it does. I believe it does. Hang on. Yes. Thank you. That's really cool. I'm going to put it back in all the way though so you can see this. And then over here we have like the family. It's also that holographic thing I think. The sweet family that turns into zombies and same here. I don't know where you found this stuff. And then there's this one. Yeah. And that has a tuck up here. <laughs> Mr. Potato Head. A zombie Mr. Potato Head in a coffin. That is so cool. <laughs> and it's all distressed. Sort of looks like leather how she did it. That's really cool. <laughs> oh my. And then here's zombie attack. And then there is a top tuck. I'm going to put my finger in there so I can get it back in. Oh, that's cool. That's not too scary. Thank you for that. <laughs> okay. And then over here, the never-ending book, right? It's Spooktacular Halloween. It's another um, Brad on here. And then we have some journaling cards that are distressed. Oh, and I love this paper. And she's got a bat um, bumped up on um, uh, dimensional type things. But there's all the bats flying out from the Erie Castle in the night sky. I like that picture too. But I like the ones you painted the best. And here's a little cat and a little witch. It says, when witches go riding and black cats are seen, the moon laughs and whispers, tis near Halloween. The witch is in. And the little black, um, I like these little glittery stickers. And then it flips open. You can put a picture under here or something. And then we have a side tuck. And it's got the spiders. The web is on the in gold on the paper. And then she put some stickers on. Deadly Nightshade made by Slughorn Ink. <laughs> London Dragon Diagon Alley. Sorry. Oop, there's something else in here. And some of the witches, witches and black cats spooky paper. That's kind of cool paper. And it's distressed. So that is cool. Okay, and then over here we have Pond's Extract, the old family doctor. This picture is really cool too. I do like that picture with the moon and the trees. And this is Happy Halloween and the zombie or something here not zombie it's more like a ghost and ravens and it turns and then one another one of these ribbon tags that is so cool i'm definitely going to scrap lift that idea and that's a tuck spot there and then here's two tuck spots both resting oh no oh this one oh did she sew that on that looks like it's sewn onto the paper. It's got like gold. I don't know. Yeah, because this one doesn't have it. That looks like it's stitched on or something. I don't know. How did you do that? Maybe it's washi tape that looks like that. That. Uh, yeah, may maybe. I think it's washi tape, but it almost looks stitched on there. Cool. And then this one is ribbon with the spiders and distressed on the back. Very cool. And then this black and orange twine. And then this one is the jack-o'-lanterns. That's pretty with the gold. You really went all out, lady. Where, where did you get all this stuff? I thought I had a lot of Halloween stuff. <laughs> wow. And then this has a top tuck spot, which is another journaling card with bugs and x-ray things chests 
And then over here we have the spiders that are all um, embossed. So I don't know, did you stamp them and do that? How did you do that? Or was it on the paper like that? I don't know. That's pretty cool, but it's definitely embossed um, and sparkly. Cool. And Sandra, see, I, I found them. <laughs> she mentioned it when she was watching Jan's. That there were embossed spiders. There we are. And then we have a skull and the crossbones. And both distressed, or inked I should say. And then we have a side pocket. And witch hazel tincture. <laughs> Fresh human juice extra. <laughs> so if it's, yes, it's not fresh, it's not extra. <laughs> oh my goodness. Here's more of that pretty um, like castle and only this time it's a tree paper with the bats and then there's bats, sparkly bats here. She's got a sparkly bat up at the top, which is a tuck spot too, I think. Oh no, it's on the tag. Okay. And another turn back. <laughs> That's funny. That's a pretty journaling card. Oh my goodness, I think we're getting close to the end here. And then here we have Blood of Dracula. Dracula. Count Dracula. And the bat paper. And that's been distressed with purple or ink on both sides. And then Beware with the blood dripping and the little bats. Cool. And then I bet this one has a top one. Yep. And this is what's in the top, which is in the black cats. That's a big journaling card. And then on this side, we have like um, oh, it's a tuck spot. No, it's a cord. <laughs> it's a side pocket, Deb. Oh yeah, yeah. And then a little tuck spot here with these two tags in. Vampires, witches, and ghosts. Oh my, yeah. And the eyelash trim, and then the witch little tag in this witch cream here. <laughs> So she had that like that. And then here's the, another spider. So we've got a side pocket and then a tuck spot. And then I like this picture a lot too with the witch going in front of the moon. So that's really cool. Of course it's blue. That's probably why I like it. And then this has Bezoar, a perfect antidote for most poisons. Take it orally. <laughs> and then the spider skeleton yeah, creepy creepy i'm gonna put this in there and then this one says boo and i seem to remember jan this is on i don't know what that's on it's like wood or something and then she put the googly eyes on and then is it a tuck spot no it's just glued down and then here's an envelope but this envelope this is made out of fabric. Cool. And it's all blinged out with Velcro. Or is it fabric? It's an envelope. I guess she put fabric on it. That's really cool. Anyway, here's some more journaling cards and things. I'm already at 27 minutes. I'm trying to keep it a little bit. Oh, I'm longer than that because I stopped and started. Yikes. Probably about 45. And then is there, there's a tuck, um, top pocket again. Oh my goodness. A couple things in here. These coppery skulls. And this moon and sun. And there's stars. And they're all distressed. Very cool. I don't know how you did this envelope. Anyway. And then we turn this over. 
and it says happy halloween and we've got lots of tags he just really did so many tags and stuff wow october 31 happy halloween october 31 and then another one of the ribbon tags that is so cool i love those ribbon tags and then this says october 31 and it has a side it has a pumpkin a jack-o-lantern paper clip up here we take that off for a minute and then we've got two ghosts with purple distress ink and um spiders with a skeleton tab and uh i don't know if that's a ghost or a mummy i can't see it good enough and then those go in there and we'll put that back on there and this says october 31st up at the top and then this picture is really cool too with the jack-o-lanterns in the forest with the light shining through and then this is fabric this is the back of the book i didn't miss anything there did i, I hope i missed the god at all handmade especially for you by suzy sorrell suzy q crafts on youtube thank you suzy you did a great job it's awesome i hope i got everything i think i did i'm not sure <laughs> but i see all the tabs up so i'm thinking i got it all this book is amazing a lot of work went into it yep a lot of work love this silvery one too but I think this is still my favorite, favorite page. The way you did this tree. But I like trees and stuff. And I like the shading. Yeah. I don't know. There's a lot of, a lot of cool stuff in here. Alright guys. I'm going to let you go. I don't know where the witch's hat went. But I'll figure it out. There's probably a paper clip. There is a paper clip here. Here it is. I don't know where it was and it's still got sticky on it. So I'll stick it back in there, re-glue it and find a spot for it. Okay. All right, guys. Thank you very much, Susie, with her rattly skeleton here. <laughs> and I hope you guys have an awesome October because it is October now. In fact, it's getting close to, it's like 15 minutes away from being October 2nd. So I hope you have a great um, month and happy Halloween when we get there, guys. I'll talk to you the next time. And I'll put a link to the book that I made, which I forget who it's going to. But Jan did a drawing, a fair drawing. It was perfectly fair. And um, I, I think it's Hair by Hernandez here on YouTube is getting my book. So I hope she enjoys it. And I'll talk to you all the next time. Hugs, love, and peace.